Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video, I'm going to be explaining three ways to make money as a Roblox developer, okay? And let's just get started, okay? So, um, making money as a Roblox developer, okay? So a lot of people think of, like, making money as a, you know, Roblox dev, and they're like, okay, well, you can make a game, you know, you can make some Robux, and then you just DevX, or, you know, the developer exchange, if you don't know what that is, basically, you know, it's where you sell your Robux back to Roblox, and they give you money for it. A lot of, that's how, you know, people make money on Roblox, but anyways... Um, you know, most people do that to make money, right? But there are also some other ways that actually you can make money as a Roblox developer than just actually just making games, um, which may sound kind of weird, but, I mean, just making the games directly, right? I mean, so there's other things you can do. So, yeah, that's what I'll be explaining in this video, in this video today, and I'll also be explaining, like, how to get your, you know, uh, how, to, how, to, how to get started, I guess, doing these things, or how to take your first step in them. So, yeah, um, be sure to leave a like, this helps you out, though. Uh, I appreciate it a lot, and, uh, all right, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, tutoring other people, okay? Now, I know this may sound weird, right? And a lot of people actually don't really think of this because they're like, oh, well, I'm not a pro. How am I going to teach someone something when I barely even know it myself? You know what I mean? Um, which I guess can make sense, you know, in, in in a way. But, I mean, if you have a decent understanding of something and you know how it works, then you can teach someone it. And actually, not only would it, like, help them, but it'll actually help you learn it yourself better, right? So uh, let me explain that, actually, by the way. So um, it, it can honestly, like, wait, wait, like, it can, it can be better, like, right, for a less skilled person to teach someone like rather than like a pro right and the reason why is because like when you're more of a beginner okay you remember how you first understood something okay so like whenever you first learned how to script or whatever or first learned like what something a scripting does or whatever it is you're you're like oh okay um you know that's why that works you know what i mean and you know the reason why it does right whereas like if a pro were to teach them they probably wouldn't remember like what made it like click in their head for them you know what i mean like i hope that makes sense right just kind of like pros are almost like so high up or not pros but you know what i mean like people who are advanced and doing it for a long time they're almost just like so good at it that they don't really understand how a beginner thinks you know what i mean and and since you're sort of still new to it you still understand how you thought as a beginner right because everyone was a beginner once and you remember how it was so yeah so actually i know it may sound weird but honestly it can be better sometimes to learn from someone who's not as skilled rather than it is someone that's super skilled okay so yeah anyways if you're looking to get started with this guys if you want to start tutoring someone which really anyone can do this honestly as long as you know how to do something um then i i would uh, recommend either going in my discord server which is uh I'll, i guess i'll link that in the description below but it's a pretty cool server right actually we're growing super fast we're about to hit 10k members soon uh <laughs> there's like a little like uh, stat tracker i use right as you can see we're almost at 10k members okay we've gotten 3,000 in the last month which is insane i appreciate it all so much we might hit 10k and actually the server was created july 17th last year and today's july 12th so we might actually hit 10k on the one year anniversary or actually july 19th is my birthday which either one would be awesome um <laughs> but yeah that'd be crazy so be sure to join the discord server it's pretty cool right um Definitely, I would say super active with people and talking in the chat all the time. I don't know what's going on here, but <laughs> we have different channels, right? Like, as you can see, people are in voice channels. We have scripting help. Uh, people here and help each other with scripting all the time. Like, building help, stuff like that. All that kind of stuff. People are talking here all the time help each other out. So it's a pretty cool server. If you're a Roblox developer, I would definitely join it. And uh, if you want to, you know, actually find someone to tutor, I guess, um, then I would probably go to, like, for hire, looking for devs, or just ask around. You know what I mean? People are always in here talking to each other. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyways, um, another place you can look, though, if you didn't want to join that, is the developer. Uh, for Roblox developer forum, which we don't know what that is, you probably should by now. Okay, it's it's you know, um, it's a developer forum for Roblox developers made by Roblox themselves. Okay, so it's moderated. It's pretty safe. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I, I I would say it's like a, it's a cool thing to use. I use it sometimes. I try to hire some people for like certain stuff. So yeah, I definitely use it. It's cool. Be sure to you know come on here and uh, maybe posting uh, looking or like looking for a tutor or like tutor for hire something like that you know what i mean i'm sure people are posting here all the time um uh, but yeah anyways uh that's one way you can make money as a robot developer okay the second way um is developing commissions okay now i know this may like this may seem a bit more like you know obvious but also like i mean you can still earn a lot of money this way right because it's not you're not just making your own game instead you're actually doing like s like small things for other people um, so yeah, so basically what I mean by this, right? Like for example, let's say you're like a builder, right? And someone's like, okay, I'll give you 5,000 Robux for this map. Now that's kind of low to be honest. I've never paid someone 5k for a map. Um, but some people do, I don't know. Uh, I don't, I don't know, but I, I'm just saying that for, that's not a random number. Okay. So, and like after a while, right, you can increase your prices more and more. 
and uh, as you get more popular, you know, you get you have more of a demand because people know who you are, and then you can eventually make like a lot more per build, right? So like I actually hire builders all the time. I mean, I hire people all the time for everything, honestly. Um, and I paid a builder actually 350 USD the other day. Um, so that's like 100k Robux if you dev exit, but I gave him the USD instead, right? It was 250 dollars. Um, and people actually pay you directly in USD as well as Robux, right? So you can make money like that as well. Um, Definitely something I would look into. Um, if you want to actually get your first commission, right, whether you're a scripter, you know, a UI designer, or like a 3D modeler, whatever you are, right, it doesn't matter. If you want to get your first commission, I'd recommend definitely going to the developer forum um, or my um, Discord server. And actually, I made an entire video on actually how to get your first job as like a Roblox developer. So if you want to watch that, you can. Uh, I'll link that in the description below as well. So yeah. All right, that's fun. That's another second way. And now the third way, the most obvious, okay, making games. All right, but here's the thing about making games, right? It's a, first of all, it's a lot more effort, right? I mean, because like when you're a developer, you and you're doing commissions, you probably are making a game. But you're not making like all of it, right? But like when you're making a game, it's a lot more effort and there's a lot more risk involved, right? There's no guarantee you're gonna make this money. There's no guarantee because you know you can make your game, you do all this stuff, and you release it, it doesn't make any sales, or you don't get any sales of your game passes or developer products or whatever, right? So there's no guarantee you're gonna make money. So there is some risk, right? There's a, there's a risk that you're gonna put all this time into it. You might possibly even invest some money into it, uh, putting it into sponsors or hiring developers but you may not make any money right so that would be kind of crappy but th that's the risk you take right but also there's can be a very high reward you know what I mean an, an infinite reward right? honestly I mean not infinite obviously but you know what I mean um, much higher than actually doing commissions or tutoring because when you do commissions and tutoring you know you can only have so you only have so much time in a day to work right like for example let's say you you charge you know twenty dollars an hour for tutoring or whatever you only have 24 hours in a day so you can only make even if you didn't sleep all day, 24 times 2 is 480, right? Or 40, 24 times 20, 480. So you can only make 480 dollars in one day, right? So if you do the math, you understand that there's a, there's a cap to it, right? Um, and obviously, you, would, you wouldn't even make that much. So you you can't. You have to sleep. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, um, so if you can manage to make a successful game, though, right? You can be earning, you know, an insane amount of money. You know, you don't, it doesn't even need to be an insane amount of money, right? Obviously, the top the top developers on Roblox make millions of dollars. Um, you know, we, we all know that. But I mean, you can still make a, a decent amount of money, um, a, a lot more than commissions or tutoring, right? Uh, with games, which is why you know it, it's a little bit more risky, but there's also a much higher reward if you can if you can do it successfully, right? Um, so yeah. Uh, and you know, there's an infinite reward too. What I mean by that, right, is like you can. It's not like time based, right? You're not working per hour or anything like that. So yeah. All right. Anyways, I'm also assuming that you guys are already Roblox developers, right? So if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you're a Roblox dev already. But if you're not actually and you want to get started making games and actually becoming one, um, I I would suggest learning how to script. Personally, it's my favorite. You know, maybe it's not for you, but if you want to check it out and want to learn how to script, I have my beginner series link below. It's in the description below. So definitely go watch that if you're interested. Um, but yeah, all right, guys. That's pretty much it, though. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is three ways to make money as a Roblox developer on Roblox. Okay, um, I hope it helps you out. Uh, I know you may expect a few of these, like I said, um, but you know, it, maybe it give you. Maybe it gave you a step in the right direction uh, to actually start doing one of these things. And uh, also, you know, it's always nice to make money while you're doing something, um, and especially while you're doing something you enjoy. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyways, uh, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe for more Roblox development-related videos. All right, I'll upload every other day, so subscribe for that. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.